Hello and welcome to Be Marin Revit Tutorials. Today's tutorial is the second part about the roof ridge. Just to remind you, in the previous tutorial we modeled the roof ridge family using the beam family. In short, I just modified the profile of the beam family and added one nested family as a connection between the elements of the roof ridge. Today I will show you how to automatically calculate the length and number of root ridge elements, which is the point of Revit, that we can automatically use information from all the families we use in the project. Now I will show you family we created in previous tu tutorial. As you can see, we, only with one click we position the families on the roof. As I said in previous tutorial, you can create roof ridge using sweep tool, but uh, in this family we could add elements such as connection between roof ridge. It looks more realistic, especially for uh, cly ridges. All right, now I'm adding the families. Here we just uh, click enjoy elements and the ridge is here. As you can see it looks very good. Uh, it makes your uh, model looks better and also you can export information, you can automatically export information from this family. As you can see, this is beam family, so we can calculate length of the ridge and with simple formulas we can calculate number of the ridge elements that we need for this kind of roof. All right, that's it about the family. Now I will show you how to calculate length and number of the ridge. We are going to uh, schedule and from here we will select structure framing. All right. And I will name it Ridge. I will choose large letters. The ridge numbers. All right, Ridge and is enough. And from here we will select Mark and Length. All right. I think these two parameters is enough. For this, do we need anything more? No, this is enough for this tutorial. All right. Now I ha here I have all family with this name. This is our rich family. I will close it. All right, and from 3D view first, I will select our rich families and I will isolate them. We will go select visible in view. And now I will isolate elements that are selected here. All right, I will select all of them. And for mark, I will add ridge is enough. All right, and now we are going to use filter by mark a equals, and from here we will select ridge. All right, here it is. Now I will change the border of the mark and left. All right, 
sorting by mark, grand and totals, title count and totals. All right, now I will select. I will go to formatting, select the land, and from here I will select uh, calculate totals. Here you can see total length of the ridge in centimeters. We can change that from centimeters uh, to meters from here. All right, I choose meters, and now you can you you can see we, here we have the length of the ridge. Uh, now with very simple formula, I will show you how to calculate numbers. Of ridge elements that we need for this roof. All right, number of ridges, <laughs> and from here we will select land, and we'll divide it with the land of one ridge element. Let's say it's uh, 40, 40 centimeter. All right, from here we will calculate the totals. Okay, and that's it. We need 230 uh, elements. We can add a few elements more. If you have experience with uh, quantities of materials for construction project, we always add more elements that uh, Revit shows because there will be uh, elements, uh, there will be broken elements on the field. So always, I suggest you to add. Uh, more elements that Revit shows. All right. And that's it, dear friends. It's one very simple way to create roof rich family uh, that will be useful for you because you can you can automatically export informations that you will need for for calculating cost of the uh, construction project you can calculate the length of the ridge and number of the ridge elements from here you can see changes uh, i have already uh, i just now add a new ridge and you can see uh, how it's automatically affected our length of ridges and number of ridge elements all right that's all please don't forget to subscribe and to share my tutorials with your friends and colleagues see you in the next tutorial